Third Annual Motocross Championship 2000. Welcome back everyone to the third annual motocross championship. I'm Skipjack Stevens along with Ray Alvarez. More great racing coming your way right now with Expert Open Moto 2. Racing is fun and competitive, but safety is a big concern in riding motocross. So with that in mind, let's go to the Quick Crete Cam and Cookie Alvarez with some ORAM safety rider tips. Hi, I'm Cookie Alvarez and this is today's ORAM safety riding tip. As with any form of motorsports, or any sports for that matter, safety should always come first. With that in mind, let's go over a few safety riding tips before getting on your motorcycle. Before I go riding, I always check a few important things on my motorcycle. Starting with the handlebars, you always want to make sure that your levers are in the proper working order. This is your clutch. You want to make sure that your clutch has the right amount of play. You want to make sure that it's functional. This is your front brake. You want to make sure that your front brake is in good working condition. You can check the fluid right here and you also want to make sure that your throttle is in good working condition as well. This is your handlebar, you want to make sure that your handlebar is working properly also. There are many types of tires that you can use for racing. We have a good all around tire here, good for conditions like today. You want to make sure that there's no rust or corrosion on your disc brakes, this is your stopping power. So you want to just make sure that your disc brakes are nice and clean. Just like your front disc brake, you want to make sure that your rear disc brake is in good working order as well. No corrosion, no rust. This is your rear brake. You want to make sure that the springs are nice and springy and that the brake is functioning properly. This is also where you can add brake fluid for your back brakes. This is your drive chain. You want to make sure that your drive chain is clean and well lubed. Here on the drive chain, we also want to make sure that we have the proper amount of play, anywhere from one to two inches. This particular motor here is the two cycle 125 cc engine, which requires you to mix oil and gas together. Here's the carburetor. There's a lot of adjustments that you can do here, but it comes standardly adjusted already. Before and after riding, it's very important to check your motorcycle for loose parts. These are a standard pair of motocross boots. It's very important to use boots to protect your ankles and your heels and toes. These are highly strong knee pads to protect your knees. We, this is very important to use so you don't bang your knees up against any part of the bike. These are really tough material pants. These are used to protect you from uh, slides, rocks, crashes, and all sorts. These are really durable. It's also a good idea to always wear a long sleeve shirt or a jersey. This is a very important part of your riding gear. This is your chest protector. This protects your chest from getting hit from rocks or flying debris. Last, but definitely not the least, and the most important one here is your helmet. I never ride without my helmet, and no one should ever ride their motorcycle without their helmet either. <laughs> You will see a lot of children racing this weekend. This child here is well protected and ready to race. He has his helmet, his chest pad, his boots, his long sleeve shirt, pants and gloves. Okay, let's get in the race two of the Expert Open Moto Series. Here we go. Oh, a big battle on tie up at turn one. And Ernie Leongsong gets the whole shot to lead Expert Moto number two. Dead on his heels is number three, Cookie Alvarez, and the rest of the pack into turn two. There's no game playing here. This is serious racing. Already over.